with slightly over three weeks to the rematch between President Uhuru Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga. The Joint Parliamentary Committee steering radical electoral changes before the October 26th repeat presidential poll has invited members of the public to email their written memoranda on the contentious Election Laws Amendment Bill 2017 to the clerk of the National Assembly or the Senate or to deliver their input on paper to either of the two offices before the public hearings on the bills this amidst the heated political debate of a key contents of the bill. The bill that they introduced in Parliament yesterday is an act of extreme provocation to us as NASA and is something that is completely unacceptable. Among key contentious clauses of the bill is a suggestion that in the absence of chair of electoral body IEBC, the deputy chair can assume duties of the chairperson until such a time that another chair shall be appointed. Under the same bill, in the absence of the chairperson and the vice chairperson, members of the commission shall elect from among themselves, one of them to act as chairperson. The bill also suggests a reduction of quorum for plenary from five to half of the number of existing commissioners, provided they are not less than three. Okay. Amendments that have attracted reaction from none other than the IEBC boss, Wafula Chebukati. I hope those laws will not change the framework we have put in place, because if they do so, then they'll put us in a very precarious situation. Because we have already set training manuals, we have already commenced procurement processes, and it, it will just take us backwards. Perhaps the life of the chairman himself is not even assured because it seems the regime wants him out of that office. Otherwise, in the last election, the chairman was always there. It does not threaten in any way the powers and the functioning of the chairman and the members of IBC commi uh, commission. To the contrary, it fills the vacuum. Among the bodies already invited to make submissions before the joint committee are the judiciary, the Law Society of Kenya, civil society groups, ICT organizations, political parties, and the IEBC. Citing time constraints, the parliamentary team will hold public hearings for three days before tabling a report before the National Assembly, which resumes its sittings for three days on the 10th of October meaning the House will only have four sittings for the second and final reading of the bill, which constitute the debate and possible amendments of sections of the bill. <laughs> President Kenyatta's camp insists that the amendments should apply in the October 26th poll. A demand which saw the Odinga team storm out of a meeting, convened by IEBC to break the deadlock over key issues before the October 26th poll. So we will leave them to their own uh, desires, uh, but they will take responsibility for what happens thereafter. But what we are not going to allow is a situation where violence, intimidation, threats, are used as a basis of coercing. Even as the Joint Committee prepares to begin its sessions, missing in action will be the NASA representatives from the two houses, putting into question what ought to be the bipartisan approach in key amendments before the repeat poll.